shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. All right, hey, what's up, you two? Your boy Chris is out on the go, wing. I-40, westbound, beautiful morning, showing about 53 degrees in the Memphis area, riding with the one, the only, silent assassin, Jason. <laughs> What's up, you two? <laughs> A little bit. Hey. Mark. Hey, what's up, Uchu? And all the way from Chi-Town Road, 500 miles to get here for the ride, J.D. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. And we also got a guest with us, Bullet. You with us, Bullet? New kid on the block. Hey, YouTube. All right, we got Bullet on the block. We're going to take a little nice ride today, head on out toward... Dallas, Texas, I-40, westbound, being led by Jason. You know, I actually haven't recorded a video since mid-August, so it's been a while. I've been getting a lot of letters, a lot of emails, a lot of people been looking for me. Wondering where am I at? Going to the channel, looking for me. I've been working on a project. I've been in the lab. How you say it, Bullet? I've been in the lab. Yeah, Chris, you've been in the lab, bro. Been in the lab. Got the Caliente 2 trailer connected. Caliente 2. Can-Am trailer that I picked up. Got a good deal on it. Couldn't pass up the opportunity, so I jumped on it, took it to the lab, and I've been working on it ever since. And so far, this is this would be the first ride that I've actually pulled it. I took it out for a short test ride, but this would be the actual first uh, long-distance ride that I'm actually pulling it. When I first looked at the, the Can-Am RT-622 trailer, I thought it was kind of small. I didn't think it was going to be big enough for me because compared to my Ion trailer, the Ion trailer is taller but shorter. The Can-Am trailer is longer but wider. More aerodynamic. So today will be the first ride that I'm out here testing it out to see how I pull, load it on a long-distance ride. I'll be able to gauge my miles per gallon, and just see how it handles overall. I love the independent suspension on it. I ran into a snag, actually, going through the paint process, but I got everything straightened out. I'll be talking about that in a later video. But overall, I'm happy with it. It looks good. I want to give Horizon Trikes Shout out my man over there, Chris, that did an excellent paint job on it for me. Did a great job. Put that two-tone candy on it for me. So shouts out to Chris over at Horizon Trikes. If anybody out there needs a trailer painted, it doesn't matter if it's a Goldwing trailer or a Harley trailer, take it over to Chris at Horizon Trikes. Specialize in painting trailers. You'll be glad you did. Pull up on the side of you there, Jason. All right. What's she looking like? Man, it looks good. That looks real good. Yeah, today I'm going to see, actually, what kind of map, miles per gallon that I get. It pulls real good, 
I didn't think I was going to really uh, like it as much when I first got it, but I'm impressed. Yeah, I mean, it's real low profile. It's got those double lids on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I kind of hate that Can-Am stopped making the RT-622 trailer. You know, now they have the uh, they have the, the Can-Am Freedom trailer. Oh, and yeah. it's, it's just one lid on the top. Uh, they don't give you any carpet, you know, any liners or anything like that. I mean, they just give you a shell. Huh. And so, uh, you know, the one of the questions that I had to the dealership is, why do you guys stop making the the RT six twenty two trailer? And they said that it was just more expensive to make it. So basically, they just downgraded a product. Yeah. You know, it's still a trailer; it still pulls good, but it doesn't have the double lid, which I think is necessary when you're out here traveling. Because sometimes you need to access the front of your trailer and not necessarily everything from the rear. You know, I've seen some trailers that even open up from the side, which is pretty good. Kind of like Godspeed's trailer. His trailer opened up from the side. And, uh, you know, you can access your your, your items that way. But a lot, most trailers just have a lid, double hinges, and it just opens up in one direction. And so if you have something at the front of your trailer, you need to get, you have to dig through the back to get to the front. So one of the things I like about the R2622 trailer is that you can access your items from the front and the back. Yeah, and I guess you could put a you could put a cooler under that front lid if you wanted to. Right, exactly. Exactly. You could put a cooler on the front. Do you have your spare tire in the trailer, or you just got your other stuff? No, I, I don't have it. I don't have it in here, but I do have my uh, I do have my tire kit, uh, just in case uh, I have a flat. Yeah. I didn't bring my my spare uh, motorcycle tire because you know you can plug the car tire. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. The nip it is mowing. I'm showing about 53 degrees in front of the bike. I'm showing about. 60, 60 degrees in front of the in the cockpit. A little nippy this morning. I'm about to crank this heated gear on. I'm wearing my hot wired heated gear. Back. You got your uh little bit. I got mine on. You got yours Nighty on. Toasty. Yes. I'm fi- I'm fixing to do a little bit special. Uh uh-uh. uh. Let's do what I call a little bit special and put my. My heated gear on. How y'all doing back there? What's up, Jesse? Hey, what's going on? JD rode over. JD, you rode about what, 600 miles to get to me? Uh, it was like 540. He didn't say 550. Oh, he did about 550 miles all the way down from Chi Town. Now, what was the weather like when you left Chicago? Man, it was freezing. It was about 32 <laughs> degrees when I woke up that morning. Woo! <laughs> 32 degrees. I know that hawk was there. Y'all have that hawk up there in, up in the yes, north. Sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Y'all have that hawk. It wasn't snow on the ground, was it? <laughs> nah, nah. We had a slight freeze. That was all. Oh, yeah. It was pretty cold. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Now you guys, you can't, you guys can't ride uh, all year round up north. I don't believe. We don't. There's some people that do, but we normally don't. Yeah. You got to get a lot of snow too, right? Last few years it's been real scarce. Okay. But it get cold. Okay. I'd like to give a shout out to old RoboCop up in uh, Brolin Brook, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. Old RoboCop. He sent me a disc. I, I haven't had an opportunity to look at it. He sent me some on a CD, like a CD-ROM or a disc or something like that. I just got it in the mail a couple of days ago. I haven't had a chance to, to pop it in. I've been busy trying to prepare for this uh, this Texas ride. 
And I appreciate him, so shout out to RoboCop. How you doing back there, Mark? Doing good, Chris. Mark, I, Mark, I haven't seen you in a while on your bike. Where you been? No, <laughs> I've been riding. I've been riding, man. I've been riding. Yeah. I know you do. Oh, Mark out here today. Mark got his trailer hooked up, too. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen it. Yeah, it looks good. Mark, how the lights, uh, are the light feel performing pretty good for you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, Mark came over. We tried to get his lights going. So they haven't gave you no more problems? No, they haven't. Okay, good deal, good deal. Yeah, that hot wire that was uh, exposed was touching your frame. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it was. That was a hot wire there. Right. And that was causing that short. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Bullet. You got it. Come on. Hey, Bullet, what year is your goal wing? That'd be that anniversary. This is 15. 2015, 40th anniversary. Yes, sir. Man, that thing look good, man. How many miles you got on it? I got 7427 right now. You said 6427? 7427. 7,427 miles? That'd be it. Wow. Man, your bike's still new. Uh, thank you, thank you. How much, how much you going to sell it for? Uh, we'll talk about that later. You can't do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Bullet, what do you think about that uh that tw that newer gold wing? Have you had an opportunity to look at look at it? Well, Chris, I tell you, I'm kind of big guy. That thing a little too sporty for me. Oh, it's, it's right. too, it's, you stay on over there, Jason. It's too sporty for you. Yeah, it's a little bit too sporty for me. I like that that all the way up to the 17. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to take a look at this bike. Seven thousand miles. Sir, that's Silver Bullet. Now, what kind of trailer are you pulling there, Silver Bullet? That's a Colorado. Colorado? Cha yeah, Champion Trailer by California Sidecar. Man, it look good. It look real good. Thank you, thank you, thank I you. I like those flowers. mud flaps on there. Beautiful. Man, I'm going to try to do something with the mud flap, man, that you mentioned. Yeah. You got that bike hooked up like Teaspoon. Your bike look like the silver version of Black Ice. Yeah, I've been I've been watching Teaspoon. I don't want to meet that guy. He uh he seems to be a lot of fun. Yeah, he's a live wire with no insulation. <laughs> <laughs> Old silver bullet on the tail. Got Mark with the University of Memphis trailer. What's up, Mark? What's up, Chris? Now yours are what? Twenty twelve. Yes. Twenty twelve. I got that 2012. Got a little cooler on there. What you got in the cooler, Mark? Uh, I guess it's got the water, so. Oh, okay. JD in the lean. That's that XL. That's a timeout XL trailer. Is that correct, JD? Yes, yes sir. Let me get in here, Mark. It look good, man. Full Thank good, you. too. You know, I used to have uh, a timeout XL trailer. Mine seemed like it was a little bit more wider than yours. Okay. Uh-huh. But I had that same kind of trailer, torsion, suspension. And uh, it pulled it pulled pretty good. I ended up getting the, uh, the Ion trailer. Now, what kind of what kind of uh, car tire you got on there? Uh, BT? No, 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 no. What we got? The Bridgestone Drive Guard. You got the Bridgestone Drive Guard? Yes, sir. 45 in the front. And the BT-45 in the front. Now, how long have you had your car tire on your bike? Uh, one year. One year. So now that you've been dark side, what, what do you think about it so far? Man, I love it. I you love, love it. it. The wife loves it. Everything. Oh, okay. Okay. As our buddy Brother Cowboy says, I ain't never going back. You ain't never. In the words of Brother Cowboy, I ain't never going back. <laughs> I ain't never going back. You hear that, Dunlap? 
He ain't going. He got a chromed out, too. And that's a, what, 2010 Gold Wing? 2010, yes, sir. 2010 Gold Wing. All right. That's a popular, that's a popular year. There are a lot of folks with, with 2010s. Yeah, that oh, is a popular year. year. Yeah. Now, Jason, I know you've been riding. I saw you on Facebook, man. You've been all over. Yeah, we've been you, doing a little ride. You and Little Bit ain't sat down. I know you got to have about 70,000 miles on your bike right about now, Jason. you got to have uh, about 70. Right at it. Got about another 1,000 to go, and I'll be at 70. Yeah. Jason, you passed me. I'm only at, uh, I'm coming up on 62,000. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we've been out. Well, since we got back from, uh, you know, Knoxville, we've been to Oklahoma, Missouri, and a little bit of ride. Yeah, you've been riding. You've been riding. I, uh, I haven't really been anywhere since uh, Knoxville. Like I say, I've been just busy. I've been real busy, Jason. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I'm out here today. Out on the gold wing. Yeah. Talking to you via the Cardo Pack Talk Black. Today is the first day, Jason. Today is the first day that I'm use I'm using my Cardo Pack Talk Black. And if uh if anybody been keeping up with my vids, you know, uh a few a couple months ago I talked about how the Cardo once it maxed out, you can't get no more than and 15 people in, and they don't have a delete option next to a person's name. Once I put that video up about the Cardo uh, not having a delete option, Cardo actually reached out to me and said that they was going to correct the problem. And oh, they really? was They was working on it. Yeah, that's what they told me. But I don't think that they have fixed the problem yet. I think it's still there. I don't think it's a delete option next to a person's name. Um, yeah, and I meant to check the other day and see if they come out with a new update. I, I forget what. Yeah, I kind of. I've got this thing. I think it's version. I didn't forget because I hadn't checked in a while. I'm, I'm not sure if it's 7.3. Uh, what the version is, but you know, they reached out to me uh, shortly after that video and said that Chris, you know, we're gonna. We're gonna fix that uh, that delete option for you, and uh, you know I haven't heard anything since. And uh, as far as I know of, the problem still exists. Yeah, that's uh, trying to figure out. Well, I guess that would be they would do that through the app. Say so what, Jason? I guess they would do that. They would make an update for the app. Right. So yeah, they would have to up. Your phone. Yeah, they can send it out to an update if they actually fix it. Um, I can turn this heated gear up a little bit. I got my hot wired heated gear, the 2.0 version. I know a lot of people are wearing the new Evo. That's the latest version. The thing I like, the thing I like about the hot wired is it gives me four settings. It gives me low, medium, high. And go get it. Yeah. But the but the the Evo only give you low, medium, and high. So when I wear the Evo, I pretty much don't come off that middle set because if I put it on high, that's just too hot. Yeah, if I put it on high, it's just too hot. But on the on the older version, I kind of like it better because it gives me that that fourth setting. So I noticed with a with a lot of the companies, you know, they'll try to make improvements on the product and they'll end up making it worse. Yeah, well I think the way they've got these Evos, it's probably cheaper to have the button, you know, on the liner on the, and on the pants instead of having that controller. That's probably what it is. Right. Well, I mean they could have made the Evo, they they still could have attached the controller to the to the uh 
to the heated gear and just gave you four settings. Yeah. Because if they was able, if they was able to give you four settings, um, if they was able to give you four settings on the 2.0, it shouldn't be a problem giving you a, giving you four settings on the the Evo, even though the control is built into the built into the garment. So I, I kind of like the uh, I kind of like the 2.0 better, but I have both. I have the Evo and I have the 2.0. I got mine on. I love it, man. It's worth every penny. I know yeah. Teaspoon just went and bought him a bunch of stuff. I oh, did. Yeah, and that's definitely, man. It's just worth every penny if you use it. Yeah, it's worth it now. If you're gonna, be, if you want to extend your ride and see, you gotta have, you gotta have heated gear. There's no way around it. I mean, you can yeah. do it, but you know, why would you want to be cold? Well, you don't have to wear as much stuff. That's true too. Got the heated gear. So. Hey JD, how you like your heated gear? Man, I love it. I love it. Was it a good even coast? Now you get what you get the pants, uh, the jacket and the the, the, the liners for the, your boots? Uh, I didn't get the insoles. I got the jacket liner, the uh pants liner. I never wore the gloves yet. I haven't had really needed them. Okay. Yeah, I have mine with me. I haven't I didn't put them on this morning because it was like forty degrees when I left the house this morning. Right. It's a big investment, but it's definitely worth it. If you're gonna be out here, you gotta be comfortable. Okay. Hey, JD, how's my trailer pulling? Is it, is it pulling pretty straight? Uh, straight as an arrow. Good. All good in the hood. That's understood. I don't know, JD. I might have a I might have an Ion trailer for sale here in a minute. <laughs> Bang! I might have an Ion trailer for sale. If somebody want to make me an offer on an Ion trailer. You can email me at chriscaliente at yahoo.com, or you can call me direct, 901-468-9032. Yeah, you probably won't have no problem selling it. I'm sure that, I'm sure that Ion trailer would make somebody a, a good home. But here's the catch. Here's the catch there, Jason. I can't get I can't give it away. No. Don't wanna do that. Got too much invested into it. Custom light. Cooler. Leather bra. I even have the title. I even have the title. Yeah. We'll get up here and meet J C. I'll tell him to knock the dust off that wallet. <laughs> hey Bullet, if if uh if you got somebody riding up on you we need to get over, just let me know. Uh I think they're uh they're pretty satisfied back here. Okay. We don't let you know though. Alright. Jason, did you put you like a uh a tail light on the uh trailer, like on a lid, a bar across the top? Uh yeah, there was one on there but I took it off and replaced it. Oh, okay, okay. And then those little button lights, put those on there where the old locks used to be. I put one of those new locks I got from timeout. Right. But I need to get with them and see if I can find some hinges to go on the front, uh, to replace the hinges on the front of this lid. Right. Hey, little bit, get a side shot of me a little bit. Hey. Okay. See if I can get a picture of this, me with the trailer. Let me pull up a little bit. Slow down just a tad, Jason. Let me All right. see if a little bit can get a picture of me. Hang on. She got to take her gloves <laughs> Make sure we get the trailer in there, too. See how it looks. 
All right, thank you a little bit. You're welcome. We got our we got our photographer with us today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it pulls real good. Uh, That's with a, the, lot, a lot better than uh, that air ride. You know, sometimes those air rides start leaking and stuff. Right. And I heard they were having problems at one point finding uh, parts for the air ride shocks or something was going on with them. They yeah, couldn't get you, they couldn't get them in or something. Yeah, you couldn't get a uh, replacement. Sh- Shots or maybe rebuild kits, what it was. You couldn't get a rebuild kit for it. Right. You just had to replace it with a regular shock. Right. Which would probably work fine because, I mean, it's not like you're putting a whole bunch of weight in these trailers anyway, so. Right. That's what I got on this uh, Colorado. You got air ride? Just for air ride, yeah. Yeah. Air ride is nice. I had a trailer like this one before. Never had any problems with any leaks. Got a lot of static. Is somebody helmet open? Might be getting a little wind under it. Yeah. Now, uh, Bully, you said you had one before? Or earlier model? No, I had I had same model. Oh, and, same uh, model. Yeah, this is a '98, and uh, never did have any air leaks at all. But no suspension problems whatsoever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pulled it uh, pulled it to California twice. Oh, okay. Now this this model uh, this 622 that I have is a 2012. Okay. I think my ion is a twenty. I think my ion is a twenty eighteen. If I'm saying it correctly, it's a twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen. What kind of suspension on that ion? It's a torsion suspension. Yeah, I got you. This independent suspension on this thing feels real good. Real good. Yeah, from back here, it looks like it's pulling real good. Yeah, it, it really is. Man, I forgot to button my helmet. How I forgot to do that. Now I'm just... Hey, Chris, hey, Chris, I think Jimmy wants that old fella. Huh? I think Jimmy wants your old eye on fella. Hold, hold on one second, Marty. These uh, the trucks making all this noise and these helmets are open. Now, what did you say about the Ion trailer, Mark? I said, I think Jimmy, I think uh, JP was that Ion trailer. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Jason, could you make out what Mark said? Uh, no. I said, I think Jimmy might want Oh, yeah, trailer. Jimmy. So Jimmy might want that Ion trailer, yeah. And a lot of people may not be aware, it's, you know, when you're out on this highway, it's a lot of road noise, a lot of wind, and sometimes you can't hear as clear. And if you got an open helmet, or if you, somebody got a helmet open. My helmet's closed. Okay. Uh, put your mic. Where's your mic at? Yeah, put your mic close to your mouth, Mark. What now? I can hear y'all. Hold on. Hey. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now, Mark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, what were you saying about the trailer? I said, I think JP wants that trailer. You said JT wants the Ion trailer? Yeah. Uh, he can get it. He can get it if the price is right. <laughs> I don't know. Jason Jason may want it. Yeah, I see. Nice. What kind of payment plan you got? <laughs> <laughs>